Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is first grade, module five, lesson one. And in this lesson, students are gonna be classifying shapes based on defining attributes using examples, variants, and non-examples. So what does that mean? So parents and teachers, basically, we're, uh, students are gonna be classifying shapes. They're gonna be using two, two features, really sides and corners. Now instead of calling them corners, if you wanted to, you could call them a vertex. A vertex and a corner are the same thing. Technically, the more mathematical term is vertex, but in this lesson and for first grade, we're really going to be calling them corners, uh, so sides and corners, and a whole bunch of shapes that we can create using sides and corners. So let's get started. So I'm gonna do uh, something a little bit different here. I'm going to just kind of have one big long page and we're just gonna scroll down. So we're gonna start up here and it says circle the shapes that have three straight sides. So parents and teachers, that's where we're gonna be practicing with our first graders that, that meaning. What do we mean by side? And so if we're looking for three straight sides, oh, here's an example of a figure with three straight sides. And here's another example and another example. Some curious ones might be, what about this guy? Does that have three straight sides? So that's a nice, I don't know, conversation piece to have with your students. So then down here, it's a circle the shapes that have no corners. So really, What's the point of this lesson, or of this problem here? It's really to practice the word corners, all right? And we could have asked a bazillion different questions to practice the word corners. But here, oh, let's see, what does not have any corners? Circle the shapes that have no corners. Well, here's one, <laughs> and I, ironically, I'm using a square now. Um, there's another one. Let's see, the, ooh, that one doesn't have any corners. So you get the idea. I'm not gonna finish this problem. Uh, the parents and teachers, really at this point, the, uh, the purpose of this lesson is to practice two important vocabulary words, sides and corners. And as we scroll down, circle the shapes that have only square corners. So here's that we're gonna add a little bit of content here. Square corners are those perfect 90 degree angles. So we're adding a new kind of concept here, square corners. And so what, does a, what has a square corner? Well, this rectangle does, this square does. Now it says only square corners. And this triangle has a square corner. In fact, it's this one right there, has a square corner but we're supposed to only uh, circle the shapes that have only square corners. So it looks like I've actually taken care of it. And now we're gonna take a look at um, question four. It says, all right, draw a shape that has four straight sides. Now, parents and teachers, let your kids go crazy because there's a bazillion different answers. Um, one answer, and here's an, a unique one. One, two, three, four. There you go. Four straight sides. That's a shape that some of your, your students might not think about. But this problem lets your students go wild with their creativity for what a shape with four straight sides might look like. And then over here, draw another shape with four straight sides that is different from 4A and from the ones above. So we're just more of the same, right? Just practicing, practicing, practicing. Again, we're gonna just kind of do a little unique thing of just scroll down on this page. <clears throat> so starting with five, which attributes or characteristics are the same for all of the shapes in group A? So we're gonna look at group A, and what do we notice? And parents and teachers, let your students call out everything that they notice. Um, this is kind of a fun one. 
uh, some students might see something a little different than others. Well, one, I see that they all have four corners. They all have four corners, but someone else might say they have four, um, what, what do we call it, right angles? You know, I just call it right corners, but really, um, I think the last slide, we called them, we didn't call them right corners. You could have called them four square corners, all right? Your, your choice. You could have called it a right corner or a square corner, but since Eureka Math is calling it a square corner, let's call it a square corner. And so that's a whole bunch of things that we could have talked about. What else? Oh, we could have talked about they all had four sides. We could have talked about they're all straight, four straight sides. So parents and teachers, these are the kinds of things. Let your students go hog wild um, with coming up with what do they notice is a common attribute for all of those shapes. For six, circle the shape that best fits with group A. So we're gonna go back up and we're gonna look, well, which one of these guys best fits with group A. And uh, based on these figures right here, well, that one's pretty close because it's four straight sides, but and it's got four corners, but are they four square corners? No. So really, based on that, it tells us that this rectangle is probably the shape that best fits with group A. Parents and teachers, if you want, you can say, Here's a circle. Why does this circle not belong in group A? Or here's a triangle. Why doesn't this shape fit in group A? So you can add to the complexity by asking the opposite kind of a question. And then we've got number seven. Draw two more shapes that would fit in group A. So we're talking rectangles, right? with square corners. <laughs> That's not a very good rectangle, but it's pretty close. All right, there you go. We're talking rectangles. And then lastly, draw a shape that would not fit in A. And boy, there's a lot of shapes that would not fit in A. And that wraps up first grade module five, lesson one. We are classifying shapes and really, at this point, we're talking about sides and corners. Oh, hey, by the way, subscribe to me, please. That would help me a lot. So subscribe.